President Trump will lose his special Twitter protections, which means he could get banned from the platform in the future. From Reach TV Studios in Hollywood, it is Andy to tell you everything you gotta know about Twitter and how President Trump or former President Trump will not have any special protections in Twitter. And it's not gonna be good because he's not tweeting everything that's uh, in the best safety for the platform and its viewers, so I'll get kicked out. Twitter announced on Saturday that Trump would lose his world leader status on January 20th, which is when President-elect Joe Biden will assume office. World leader accounts get treated differently than regular accounts on Twitter. If they break a guideline of setting any suspended or banned, Twitter will replace a label that informs the user that the guideline that tweet broke. But the tweet will stay up and will provide a link for users to educate themselves on the facts of a user's claim. And I'm sure you've seen plenty of Trump's tweets get flagged, like this one where he claims he won the election by a lot. Sometimes the tweet isn't visible and you have to press a view to see what it is function. So why do people on Twitter get treated, especially world leaders in situations like this? Well, let's break it down with Twitter's help. A spokesperson from Twitter said, a critical function of our service is providing a place where people can openly and publicly respond to their leaders and hold them accountable. With this in mind, there are certain cases where it may be in the public's interest to have access to certain tweets, even if they otherwise would be in violation of our rules. Twitter's special labels only apply to leaders currently in office and not former leaders. So if Trump makes a false claim after January 20th, he would face penalties that regular Twitter users would face, such as removal of a tweet or suspension from the platform itself. But this also wouldn't affect just Trump's Twitter account, it would also affect his Facebook account. So a two for one. Currently, Facebook uses independent fact checkers to watch, quote, the worst of the worst stuff. Politicians currently in office are exempt from the fact checking. However, former politicians aren't. They're treated like regular users and could get banned for breaking their guidelines. Politicians could also get banned if they spread misinformation that could lead to voter oppression or if their post causes violence. When Twitter stated labeling Trump's tweets back in May, Mark Zuckerberg, founder and CEO of Facebook, said that Twitter and other social media platforms shouldn't fact check political speech. Uh, but I don't think that uh, Facebook or, or internet platforms in general should be um, arbiters of truth. I think that's a kind of a dangerous line to get down to in terms of um, deciding what is what what is true and what isn't. Um, and I, I think political speech is is one of the most um, sensitive parts in in, in a democracy. Um, and people should be able to see what, what politicians say. Now, honestly, in the end, I think he's gonna last like 11 minutes, but leave a comment down below what you think of how long he's gonna last for. But it's interesting how Facebook and Twitter kind of prioritize these political leaders different from people who are regular users on the platform. But obviously I'll leave it up to you. But for more social media news daily, head to watchtraining.com. Follow me, Andy Luwani, and we'll see you very soon.